eating uh, some lamb. It was a very strong pill taste in my stomach. Uh, I'm, 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 in my mouth, my tongue, in, in my stomach, I feel kind of queasy. I feel like there's pills flowing through my bloodstream. I'm sure anyone who's taken any pills before, you know, prescription drugs, psych drugs, etc., knows the feeling. It feels like it's flowing through your bloodstream. Just, and I'm weak all over. You know, I feel like whatever the blood is flowing, it's touching, it's, it's making me weak. But regardless, I'm gonna try to do some kicks for you, you know. <laughs> Kicks first, now the feeling for my records, for my viewers. Worse than the gut, a horrible headache, consistent with the COVID drug. Horrible headache. I'm just gonna push through it while I work out. There's too much to stick here to not work out anyway. Even though the effects are probably worsened by the increase the increased heart rate and the physical activity. Goodness, I'm fucking dying in here. <sighs> I feel like a heartbeat is in my throat. It's a weird feeling. <sighs> throat burning, headache, nauseated, weak and sick. <sighs> I'd rather not talk about these things, but it needs to be recorded. Now you sort of have an idea what it's like to me to work out. I'm, you know, I'm sick as a motherfucker now. And I probably did all of maybe five minutes of kicks, you know, not even uh, uninterrupted, you know, with little breaks in between, you know. That's what it's like to be covertly drugged by complete scum, which also forces my self-defense tactics to be more direct, more effective, and more violent to bring a violent conclusion to any altercation right away. Thank Uncle Sam, the gang stalking scum, for that. Here's the. Oh, well, they are. These are the scumbags of the bag. Oh, fuck. Alright, these guys, you know, I'll be a show up. Those are the groups you can thank. The fucking cowards. Cheating ass pussies, just lowly cheaters. Like, even though they're covertly drugging me, fucking my workout, my stamina, my intensity, my dexterity, my agility, everything. You know. Form, they still can't fucking beat me, fucking pussy ass bitches. Honor comes before and respect. Every martial artist who tries to say that I'm not the top automatically is dishonorable. Every martial artist who knows about my struggle and did not stick up for me, an indifferent, dishonorable dog, not worthy of the title martial artist. And any martial artist that contributed to it is the lowest form of filth, is a spiritual bottom feeder in the martial art world by default, whether they are a spiritual bottom feeder on the bottom feeder list or not. Shame, shame, shame on you. Just because you couldn't beat me and try to make yourself look good Fucking cowards.
Okay, remember, <clears throat> to to counterattack a sidekick, you have to be pretty much just as fast, or if not faster, than the person doing the sidekick. Okay? So, I'm going to put the chair while I'm standing. A regular Taekwondo sidekick, it comes directly, you know, it comes straight in front of you. You stand relatively straight up, like this. Okay? It's a regular Taekwondo sidekick. Alright? Now, my Montu sidekick... I stand a little bit off to the side. We're putting the side in side kick. And it kicks and we bend over like this. Okay? So now we're more proactive with our defense. Instead of being up here with the defense, okay, kind of straight up right here, we're right here, right? And remember, <clears throat> the target who is, you know, represented by the wall, okay? In regular Taekwondo, he's facing with the opponent straight forward. So he can come to the side over here and strike the back quicker. Or he can step off to the side here and strike, you know, this this side, okay? Striking a straight up, a <clears throat> opponent who's standing straight up and down. Also keep in mind, I, I, I've, I have, when kicking the punching bag, I found that the Montu kick is stronger. So anyway, um, <clears throat> so it's easier to defend, less predictable and stronger. And we'll get into the less predictable in a moment. All right. Also keep in mind that when somebody's worked up, such as talking about fighting or angry on record, according to the, the links in the comments, the speech increases. All right. So <clears throat> now let's let us um, <clears throat> let us keep in mind that this chair right here. Oh, you can't really see the chair. Damn it. Well, basically, there's a chair right here. Okay, where the where the um, you know, I'll tilt it downwards. So hopefully you can see the chair. Okay, now you can see the chair. There's a chair right here, okay? This part sticking forward represents, the, basically, me, it's me standing here. The part sticking forward kind of represents me leaning forward, okay? So the person, the kick comes, okay, and that's the front. The back is over here. He has to come all the way here. Okay, now not only does he have to, you know, clear the line from being straight forward as the Taekwondo Kaiki comes, he has to clear an extra little, an extra little step. He's got to step way out here, or he's got to do two quick steps. Okay, so he's got to do one big step to clear it, or two quick steps. Then you got to come in. Okay, he doesn't have the time to hit the, from the back. You pretty much don't have to worry about the back because by the time I've done this, you know, how the hell is he going to clear all that and then strike? You know, it come down. Bow. You know, no problem. We got that covered. Now from the front end, okay. Okay, from the front end, as I kick to the side, I'm bending over like this. I've got it covered here, you know. So the only thing is, you know, some dumbass might say who hasn't done the research, I get a lot of those trolls, is well, what about an attack from the front? What an, about an attack? <laughs> uh, I suppose some kind of jump kick from the front but then that you're not vulnerable to the jump kick because you're not standing straight up when you do the side kick, okay? You're going like this. So when the front kick comes in, right, he's got to jump over your side kick, kick down, right, which, which implies that he needs a running start. Now, why on earth would you be doing the side kick to someone who's way down there who needs a running start to jump over your side kick? So it's more defendable. It's less predictable. Why? <clears throat> and it's sad that I have to explain this. But I get a lot of trolls from other martial arts who really don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Because every dickhead and their mother does the same Taekwondo sidekick. The same Taekwondo sidekick. And it becomes predictable. <clears throat> because you're doing it the same way. You've seen it a million times. You don't really see my Montu fighting style. Okay? And, and like I've said, I practice both on punching bags. Thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of kicks each. The Montu side is more powerful. Thank you.